Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you another shooting drill. And the name of this drill is called the No Fail Drill. So you're going to shoot this drill on a standard B8 style target. Uh, you can pick these up pretty much anywhere or you can print them off like the one that I have here. Uh, if you're not familiar with this target, the black portion here in the center is approximately a five and a half inch circle. You'll set your target up at 25 yards. You will fire a total of 10 rounds with 10 individual draws. So on the sound of the shot timer, you'll draw and fire one shot to the black center portion of the target, reholster, and do it nine more times. So a total of 10 shots, 10 draws, and all 10 have to be in the black of the B8 target. Also, the par time for each of those draws is three and a half seconds or preferably less. If you go over that par time or if you miss one shot out of the black, it's considered a fail. The gun that I'll be running the drill with today is my Glock 48. So this is the MOS Railed Edition. So it does have Ameriglow backup sights, has a Holosun 507K optic because optics on pistols are awesome. It has a uh, Streamlight TLR7 sub weapon light and it's just a pretty slick setup overall. I only have about two or 250 rounds through this gun, so I'm definitely still getting used to it myself, but so far I really do like it. Uh, when it comes to weapon lights, I have to say this on every video, they're really mandatory when it comes to defensive firearms. Uh, you can't shoot what you can't see. Good guys, we do not shoot at shadows, so weapon lights are absolutely mandatory, and you're really not going to change my mind on that. With all that said, let me get a target hung up real quick, head back to 25 yards, give this drill a run. Two forty. Two forty one. Two twenty. Two twenty eight. Two twenty nine, two twenty seven, one ninety eight, two oh nine. 209 again. 209 again. That was 227. And just to keep me honest, right there is where I was standing. And there is my target 25 yards away. Well, got all 10 hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That one's a little close to the edge, but definitely a hit. Well, overall, not too bad of a run. I was able to keep the accuracy 100% and all the shots in the black there. And I was able to stay well under that three and a half second par time. One thing I did notice running this drill is that using the shot timer, my times were not quite as consistent as I would like them to be. And what I mean by that, I believe my fastest time was like a 198. And uh, you can, you've already watched the footage, so you know better than I do at this point. And the slowest time was somewhere in the 240s. So that's about a half a second gap between the slowest and the fastest. And I would like to see those numbers a lot closer together. Obviously, the accuracy was maintained completely consistent because all of the shots was in the black. So I would like to have seen the time more consistent. Generally, when I'm running a drill like this, where I'm doing the same thing over and over again, I like to see the times within a tenth of a second as far as consistency. Uh, I know that may seem a little strange to some of you, uh, but just adding consistency and adding repeatability is what makes being able to do stuff like this so much easier, and it makes it where it almost seems effortless after a while. I am really happy with this run and happy with the times that I did it in. It just gives me some ideas of what I need to go back and work on. Um, I don't care who you are or what your background is. Uh, no matter how good you are or how good you think you are, there's always room for improvement. And that's basically just what I'm trying to point out here. Uh, when you run a drill like this, I like to really analyze it and just see what areas that I can improve in. Um, at this particular run, I was able to keep the accuracy exactly like I wanted. 
but I was not able to keep my times as consistent. And so that's the takeaway for me today from this drill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the information helpful. If you go out and give this drill a run, let me know if you like it. I'd love to hear about it. If you'd like to contact me directly for any reason, Instagram is the best place to do so. Also, if you're not following me over there, I would really appreciate that as well. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.